The European Super League may have eaten humble pie this week, but it's these Manchester United fans that are left with the bitter aftertaste. The Glazer family, which owns United, rarely communicates with fans, but after apologising this week, it promised to rebuild trust. That was the first time that Joel Glazer has communicated with the United fans for 16 years. 16 years of nothing. They haven't been to a game since April 2019. They don't care. Empty words. He said we need to rebuild trust. There was no trust to begin with. Trust is not enough. I understand it's more, there needs to be systemic changes to the way that clubs are earned across the whole country. Because it's not just Man United, it's not just the Glazers. I've been following United since 1956. So you can guess my age. It's about time that somebody spoke up about the parasites in this club. United would have become one of 12 permanent members of the ill-fated European Super League, a breakaway competition from UEFA's Champions League. And Joel Glazer, who is the club's co-chairman, was set to become the new league's vice-chair. The fans here want a 50 plus one ownership structure which would give them control of the club through a voting majority. Commercial investors would still be able to make suggestions, but they'd need the fans' backing to get things done. It's a model that has worked for fans of Germany's Bundesliga giants. A man who knows all about the German model is Liverpool manager Jurgen Klopp, who has backed his club's owners. One thing the supporters here seem to be happy about is the investment that the Fenway Sports Group has put into the club enabling them at one point to buy what was the world's most expensive defender and just a few months after that, the world's most expensive goalkeeper. In today's match day programme, Liverpool's captain Jordan Henderson pleaded with fans not to fall out with the club's owners. The size of this crowd suggests many of them are listening. Sadia Chowdhury, Sky News.